Hey guys, and welcome to Season 2, and it's February in League 2 with Bath City. Now, I don't know what it is about, I've said this about second seasons in each league, we've always had a great second season. And again, as well, another thing that seems to repeat itself is January. In the last two seasons where we got promoted, I won January Manager of the Month. This month, I did not win the January Manager of the Month, but we had an exceptional month, and I came second in winning Manager of the Month. So it does seem to be some definite, so we say, uh, patterns in how Bath play. I don't know what's going on, but maybe, maybe it's a bug. Maybe the game has a bug where you play as a manager called Paradox, second seasons and Januaries are just kind of bugged out in the game. I have no idea, but... Let's talk about what's happened in the last month. As you can see, we are now fifth in the table. Really good. I am so pleased right now with how the team's been doing. We were kind of around here for a lot of the season. We've managed to kind of just push ourselves up a little bit from the rest of the pack. Now, will that continue? I feel like it could. I do feel like it could with how well the team's been playing, but it could also happen the other way as well. So there's definitely some uncertainty and we're seven points away from the teams in the automatic promotion position. So seven points is quite a lot. But today's match is against Luton. If we can beat Luton, we'll only be four points away from Luton. That, that is massive. Uh, last time I said I didn't think we'd be able to catch up with them in Bristol Rovers. If Bristol Rovers also lose their game, we're four points behind both of them. That is crazy to think how things were going before, but I say those are just possibilities. It doesn't mean it will happen. The good thing is that we are 16 points away from relegation. That is lovely. Burton and Plymouth both in relegation zone right now. Junior is the top league goal scorer right now. Um, highest for average rating as well. Hunter is still top for assists. Both having a great season so far. We also have a new face. When it came to the whole team so far. I've got mostly the right number of people for every position, every position. Like I said, I could bring in a few more players, but I don't want to spend too much money um, unless I have players I'm moving on. So likely at the end of this season, we'll probably let a few players go and bring in a few new players to replace them. But right now, we have a good squad of players that I trust and we're not spending too much money. But there was one position where I needed a second player. I like to have at least two players for every position, usually midfield, I have like, you know, two midfield and then three extra, uh, but most of the others are just one extra person for every position. I like to have at least that. The only position we didn't have a backup really um, was Hunter in the attacking left midfield role on the wing. Now, Bob Bruce can play there, but he can't really. He's more of an attacking midfielder. So I felt we needed another winger on the left, and we've got one of those, Sandro Semedo. Now, obviously, Hunter is having a great season. But this guy I felt looked pretty good, his stats wise were not too bad, and obviously if he's not so good I can still just rely on Hunter to be our winger, but he's kind of there to be a, a rotation for him. We'll see how well they both do, if Sandro can perform as well as Hunter, then he might replace Hunter, if he can't then Hunter will be back in the team, we'll have to wait and see. Um, his history is not great, he was really the only left attacking midfielder on a free that I could find. Um, you can see he's been in League 2 for quite a while. Never really had a great time. Uh, this season, though, obviously, for Leighton Orton, he did quite well. And then in the last season, he did not have a good time. But he, he was probably coming on as a substitute. But I, I think he could have do good things. He was with Leighton Orient. Maybe Leighton Orient were not good enough for him, possibly. And let's look at the last month. So the last month, I said it was very good. It could have been even better, I think, actually. We were playing against lots of lower-level teams. So it was kind of, you know, it's like the stars aligned in a way. You guys saw us beat Bristol Rovers. Really good game. Obviously, they're not that far ahead of us. We've got to play them later in the season as well again. After I played against Plymouth, who you saw were bottom of the table, and we won 2-0. This was away from home, so I didn't expect us to win by two goals. But as you can see from the stats, it was a pretty close game, actually. We were just more clinical. Junior really making the difference, scoring two goals, what I want to be seeing. After that, we played against Leighton Orient, and this game was nil-nil. 
bit disappointed here. I felt either side could have won this game, and I just really hoped it could have been us. This game was at home. The stadium was jam-packed, which was really nice to see. I think because we're in the playoffs at the moment, a lot of fans are starting to come to our matches, it would seem. After that, we played against Rockdale. Rockdale, and I say all these teams are kind of in the bottom half of the table, not having a great time. When we saw them last time, they're all kind of in 20th position. That wasn't the same when I played them, as you can hear. The dogs are going crazy in the background for some reason. Uh, Rockdale won. I'm oh, sorry, we beat Rockdale 1 0. Wasn't a great game for us. Um, I think we kind of stole this from them, but that's the type of games you want to be winning. You know, if you're going to try and do well in the season, you want to win games which maybe you don't look so great in. And Jamie Eaton Collins being the difference here. Really good season so far, I think, from him. At a start, it was okay. But I think he's actually really come into it as we've come along. Um, Rockdale. Sorry, that was that game. After that, we played against Scunthorpe. Sorry, the dogs keep distracting me. I keep seeing them in the other room just going crazy. I, <laughs> stupid puppies. Stop it. God, they, they, they don't respect Bath. They don't respect the Romans. After that, we played against Scunthorpe at home. This was an interesting game. Many goals were scored. I really had no idea what was going on in this game. 1,800 people there. Um, Junior scored a hat-trick, which really just won us the game. We scored the first goal, but they scored straight away after, so I was a bit disappointed. Then we scored a penalty. Then they equalized with a penalty, and I was like, oh, God, is this going to be a draw? Or I just kept thinking, they're going to come back and steal it, aren't they? They're going to come back and steal this game, aren't they? They're not having a good time. This is going to be one of those games where the low team not doing so well is going to beat us. But Junior scored a 68th minute goal, and we were able to hold on. Really close to Scunthorpe, kept coming after us after that 68th minute goal. But we were able to just hold on till the end, and we won 3-2. That could be a big game right there. After that, we played against Burton at the time, well, I think at the bottom of the table. Was really hoping we could continue our great run of form. If I'd have won this game, I definitely would have got Manager of the Month, I think. And you can see from the stats... Um, it really, I really felt it was a winnable game. I really, do you can see Burton's not getting a big attendance right now. They've really fallen low. Um, they scored three goals. We both scored in the same time. I can't remember who scored first, though. I don't remember. I think they did, then we equalized. And then they scored again. I kept trying to get the goal back, but we couldn't. Then they scored another one. Probably 2-1 for them would have been a fair result. I think losing 3-1 was a bit much, but... <sighs> Oh, well. It would have been a perfect month. If we'd won that game or drawn that game, I'd have said that was a perfect month of results for us. But it wasn't meant to be. So we now, if we'd won that game, we'd only be four points behind Leighton. Oh, uh, sorry, Luton. That would have been amazing. But here we are. We're seven points behind Luton. And let's have a quick look at the team. We can see they were predicted to come 11th. Um, they've been doing very well in League 2 every season, but never able to get promotion so they've been looking for promotion for a while now. Uh, McGeehan. McGeehan? Yeah, he looks to be their best player. Midfielder, attacking midfielder. Looks okay. Doesn't look too much better than our players, I would say. He's been at Luton for quite a long time. He's done very well for them, it seems, most of the time, especially the last couple of seasons. Could be an interesting match. But here we go. I, uh, if we lose this game, they're going to go 10 points ahead of us. Then I think... Our chances of getting to those automatic playoffs, uh, automatic positions, is gone. But if we can win this game, that means our hunt for those automatic positions could suddenly come on. That you know, at the second half of the season, we could suddenly be in the race for those automatic positions. That'd be so exciting to see. But if we lose, like I said, I think that could be dead in the water unless Bristol Rovers lose their game. But even then, we'd be still a little bit behind. Um, we're quite safe. We're three points ahead of falling out the playoffs, so I feel a little bit comfortable right now. A draw or win, I think, would be quite nice. A win, they'll be great to keep up with those automatic positions. Uh, for today's match, you can see we haven't really got any injuries right now, but there's been a, a few things I've changed in the team for this match. Uh, Hunter's playing today just because he's been in great form this season. Uh, Samido's only played one game. We just brought him in recently, so I don't want to play him in this big match against Luton. I trust Hunter to play this match, so I'm going to keep him on. Um, Jack Dunn on the left there. We've got Eaton Collins here. 
I trust these two recently more than Wintle. That's just my opinion. From what I've seen of both of them during matches, I've just felt a bit more comfortable with these two. Jack Dunn in particular has done some really good assists recently. Simpson is coming in. Now, he's not playing well. And over the last month, I've actually been using Ball in the team. Ball has been starting in the team for the last month. And I've been... Uh, he's been okay. He's been okay. You can see his stat there, 59 um, to Simpson, the 6.57. is not much difference. But Simpson really wasn't performing well enough, I felt, during the first half of the season. I really thought he'd grow into it, but he never did. But this is a big game against Luton. I feel Simpson maybe is a bit more about him than Ball. Hopefully he just performs this game. I think Ball, he's getting he's got the 30 now. He's maybe starting to fall down a little bit, possibly. I'm not sure. I just don't trust him for this game. That's all. He'll probably come back into the first team after this match. But that's just one little change I wanted to make. Oluwu is doing amazing. Look at him. He's improving all the time. Look at that acceleration. But he's just improving all the time, getting better and better. What a steal he was. You know, we brought him up from the lower leagues. Obviously, he used to be a youth player at Arsenal. Then was let go to Hensford. But we managed to pick him up from those lower leagues, bring him up to League 2, and he's just been performing fantastically. And let's jump into the match. Very happy of him. Really glad that obviously a young player like him can come into the team from the lower levels of football and just feel like a natural. It just feels naturally good for him. And obviously that, that, looks, that looks good for me because I brought him in. <laughs> so as a manager, I feel quite happy about that. Now, Luton. The big game is on. The Hatters versus the Romans. Your hats cannot be our Roman legions. And here we go. Team talk. Total team expected to prove a point today. Hmm. Let's get revenge. I'd rather go for revenge. They always like revenge. Let's put it on extended. And we're ready. Ready for the match of the century. Okay, not the match. The match of Bath century. Think about it. Every game in League 2 for us is basically the biggest games of Bath's entire history. Because we've never been in the Football League. So actually playing all these games to survive in the Football League is awesome. Big things for the club. Okay, we're passing back to Cox. Don't know how many people are going to be. I think they said it's going to be a sellout for this match. Like I said, because we're kind of in the playoffs, I guess, we seem to be getting a lot of fans coming to watch games. Hunt with the ball there. Can he show? He didn't really do a great job there, but not too bad. You know, he didn't lose the ball or anything. Kouye with a long shot over the top of the net. Nothing for them to be concerned with. And here they come in with a free kick. McGeehan, obviously their key player there, had the ball, but... He's passed it on, and they've just kicked it safely off into the distance. Our players can feel very comfortable with that. So far, it looks pretty even. McGeehan, though, with a free kick there. Ooh, just keeps bouncing off our players. Good job, defense. Or whoever was in the wall. I guess it might not have been our defenders. Cox, with a foul. Cox has been getting a lot of yellow cards, which, like Sarpong, you know, I kind of like sometimes. You know, sometimes you need a player like that, someone who's going to get themselves right into the mess and get some cards. He's getting maybe a few too many. He's had a couple of red cards sometimes. Ooh, that was close. Wow. That could have been a great opportunity there for Luton. Coddington with the kick out. Okay, again it to Kuya. Done to Eaton Collins. To Junior. Oh, Eaton! Ooh, we've seen Eaton score in some similar kind of situations. Junior lost the ball there, but Eaton just working hard. Hunt with a free kick there. Bounces off the defense there. But we get a corner. Only been 13 minutes though. Done now the corner. Ooh, okay, not too bad. Oh, and Kouya with an opportunity, but couldn't get the proper head onto the ball. I should probably be keeping an eye on Bristol Rovers, actually, because it'd be good if they lost their game, because if we win this game, that'd be massive. But... <sighs> Coddington, Coddington, Coddington. You beautiful man. He's done some good saves over the season so far. Kouya, he's not perfect, obviously, but he's definitely done well, I think. Kouya, not sure what he was trying to do. Kouya not having a great game. Uh, Bristol Rovers are obviously winning their game. They're going actually into first place. Good for them. Good for Bristol Rovers. Port Vale are losing their game against Barrow. We don't care about Barrow anymore. Mansfield are now drawing. 
Dunn gets it to Junior. Junior, a lot of balls over the net on both sides right now. Mansfield, yeah, they're drawing on points at 55. 46. Port Vale losing their game, actually, we just saw. Or were they drawing? I can't remember. I think they were losing. So if we could win this game, we could also go past Port Vale. Burton are winning their game. Are Burton going to start taking themselves out of relegation zone? They beat us if they win another game. That could be big for them. But both of them and Plymouth in difficult situations that they shouldn't be in. They really shouldn't be in that situation. D what the? Ikuya, come on. What's with all these long... I'm not, I've not told you to do long shots. I don't... I mean, he's done some good goals in the past, but I don't tell him to do long shots. But he seems to be going for them quite a bit. Good opportunity there for Junior. I don't tell him not to, though. So maybe... But he does some, score some really nice goals, so I don't really want to tell him not to either. Done now with the corner. We seem to be getting some good, you know, playmaking, some good opportunities. It just never comes to anything right now, which could come to bite us in the ass. If this just continue, if this just continues, this could come to bite us in the ass, you know. Okay, we're getting the most shots. Hunter to Oluwu, getting it to Kuya, gets it to Junior. Really, oh, he he was able to just play it past that one defender. It looked like I thought he was going to be able to hold the ball, but he just couldn't hold on to it. He sk he skilled himself basically. <laughs> he skilled the defender and himself. Eaton Collins. Oh, I, oh, I've seen him score so many of those. Him and Junior are linking up really well together right now. Done with another corner. Done doing some potentially good corners recently, but not been good enough so far. But definitely some good potential there. Better corners than we normally see. This is why I like Dunn. He's got a bit of everything at the moment. That was a good first half. Yeah, we definitely play him better than them. We just... Just keep going, guys. You can you can get it. You just need one little little one little difference, one little bit of magic from one of you. I know Junior, you've got that magic. I know Dunn's got that magic. We know Hunters. We know Eaton Collins. They all have that magic up front. That's why we keep scoring goals. Telford have beaten Doncaster. Simpson to Eaton Collins. Cox. Back to Simpson. Back to Cox. To Hunter and Hunter loses the ball. Hunter. 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 Too many times he does that. Okay, he's maybe not always got the best decision making. Eaton Collins. He gets it to Dunn. Dunn, though, went for the head. He should have plopped it in front of him. Maybe maybe he couldn't do that. But he really should have tried to plop it in front of himself rather than trying to pass it with his head. Wasn't meant to be. Hunter, though, ran onto a good ball there. Cool, yeah. Eaton Collins Jr. He's not got much help there. Not many people on the attack. Yeah, we've got 2,000 fans here today. Really good set of fans. We've got double the shots they have. And they've had one shot on target. Could this be a second shot on target for them? We have to win this game. We're playing so nicely. We're playing so nicely right now. We need to win this game. It would be massive for the club. You know, getting two more points would put us in fourth position. And four points behind Luton. Ah. Ah. And six points? No. Seven points behind them. Yeah, seven points behind the league leaders, which is, you know, pretty amazing to be only seven points behind them when we were, from where we were before, though. Oh, okay. Don't let them score. Please, not now. There's a lot of games still left to be played. McGee in there. Gets it down to Brandon. Simpson with a good tackle there. Very happy I trusted Simpson today. Cool, yeah. Gets it down to Hunter. Hunter gets about the Kuya. Eaton Collins. Junior, not a great position. Kuya. Oh, are you kidding me? Kuya. I said, I'm going to have to, maybe I might have to ask him to stop doing that. I keep wanting to check Burton. I keep forgetting. Every time that pops up. Only pops up for a few seconds there recently. And, oh. Maybe I should go in on the attack. I feel like we're getting enough attacking shots though anyway. So I feel like if I go attacking, I'm just opening myself up for more. When actually we shouldn't be letting in any goal. They've had one shot on target. We're getting a lot of shots at the moment. It's just not coming to anything. And I'm not sure if I feel like anything will happen. Oh, I always hate this part in the games. Done there with a ball, though. He gets it into Junior. Oh, no! How, Junior? Did you touch the ball? Did he even touch the ball? I've seen him score 100 like that. 
Just a row was a winning. 2 0 now. Burton still in relegation, but they're right behind quite a few other teams. They're all going to feel a little bit uh, nervous right now, I would suspect. We're going to keep as it is. I like how they've been playing. They've been playing really well as the game has gone on. They just. Just that last. Last little tip of the iceberg. Okay, I'm going to bring on. Samido. I don't think Hunter's been great. He's looking a bit frustrated. I don't think he's had a great time. Cox has got a yellow card. But we need a player. Like I'm just going to bring on him. Done though with a free kick. Doesn't get to him. Got to the opposition. Wayne getting up to their striker. There's one man left behind. And he was able to unnerve him enough to just kick it off. Good, 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 good. Come on, Samido. Show everyone what you've got. You're the new, you're the new guy in school. New guy at the club. Show us that you were worth bringing onto the team. Show us you can be put in the team instead of Hunter. Show me why I should use you instead of Gr Hunter, who's in great form at the moment. Cool, yeah. Get to the income. What? No! Penalty! Penalty! How dare they? I guess they played on, actually, yeah. I guess that was the point. They played on, and Samido just kicked the ball off. And that was a terrible corner. Oh, God damn. Yeah, I guess it was a play on. Sorry, that was me. That was me just getting, you know, annoyed. Billy is going to come on. Kuya's looking nervous. He looks motivated, Cox. Even he's got a yellow. I'm going to bring on Zach for Monfi because he looks nervous. They're both tired at the moment. Let's bring on Zach just to make sure they don't score like a last second goal that just completely ruins everything. But we should be getting the win here. That's what's really disappointing right now. We played so well. Definitely should have been winning this game. And it's disappointing because. The chance was that Luton would probably win. They're better than us at, so far in the season. Oh, Samido. Okay, Samido, you've really... You, you've had two, like, parts in the game. You're already disappointing me. Why did I take off Hunter? <laughs> but yeah, you'd think uh, Luton should be beating us. So the fact that we're actually playing so well and we're not winning is really annoying. Come on, guys. Okay. Oh, if I go attacking, they could score. That You can see they're, they're having opportunities. So far, this is if fate is correct, we should be winning this game. Fate, give it to me. No, I mean, it was he wasn't going to score anyway, but still, I'm just getting frustrated. <sighs> Let's do it. I, I don't see Luton scoring, I really don't. We've had four shots on target. My guys just keep shooting from silly places. I guess it's because maybe Luton playing quite defensive, possibly. That could also be why maybe they're trying to be counter. Maybe they've seen how well we've been playing recently. They knew our morale would be high and that we'd be playing well. I'm going to go attacking. I know it's probably not going to make a difference in the last six minutes, but I feel like I have to change something right now. It feels like the game is fated just to be a draw. It's like the guys just went, nope, we're going to give you look. going to play well, but you're not going to win this game. Bath are not meant to win this game. You're not meant to get that automatic position or you're not meant to be fighting for that position. Okay, Simpson, we've got five minutes left. There's still not really been a good highlight, and this could be their highlight. This could be theirs. I was going to say, there's not really been a shot yet, and now they've got the ball. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you fucking... Don't you... I don't understand. I don't understand, you stupid football game. How? 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 It's because I went attacking, isn't it? It's because I went attacking. I effed up. I FM'd. I FM'd myself. I can't believe it. You son of a... Beep. I'm sorry, I'm censoring myself right now. Um, I, I don't know what to say. 20 seconds left. I can't believe we've lost this match. I can't believe we lost the match. I mean, I'd have been, I was annoyed the fact we're having a draw... The fact we've now lost the match is just mind-numbing. And against Luke, this is such an important game. And to lose it in such a stupid way. Really, in the last minutes, I'm disappointed. I'm so disappointed. We lost the game. We've fallen down. We're now 10 points behind an automatic promotion position. 86th minute. 86th minute. It's I know it's my fault. Cambridge, go away, Cambridge. I don't care. Oh uh, well, guys, I'm just I'm just sad now. 
<laughs> I'm just sad. So uh, we'll see how things go over the next month. We've got quite a few games coming up. Um, a lot of different teams. Telford, Doncaster, Cambridge, Northampton. And we'll be back against Newport. We're gonna need a we're gonna need a good month, I think, to come back from this. But we're still in the playoffs. We're still in the playoffs, and that's still amazing. I guess it wasn't meant to be. Damn you, Luton! Damn you, Hatters! Those Hatters defeated my legions. I was wrong. <laughs>